were telling me you were having a hard time with your project? I still am. Well, I found this. What's that? It's a time traveling book, so we use it to go back to James Weldon's time. But wouldn't that, like, mess with the timeline or something? Yeah, but do you want it or not, man? Yeah, you're right. Do you know how to use it? Yeah, it says right here. So do you have a book about him or something? Uh, yeah, here. Okay, so where do you want to go? Maybe his early life? Early life, like the Han Renaissance, early 1900s? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. so I'm going to open the book. Okay. And you're going to place it right on here, and then we're going to go. Is it in? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are right. you ready? Whoa. Where are we? No, 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 man. It's when are we? Hey! Hey! Shouldn't you two be in school? Um, we're home school. Yeah, homeschooled. Yeah, homeschooled. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, then. Carry on. Actually, sir, officer, um, I'm doing a project on current times. Could you tell me a little bit about Jacksonville? But don't you live here, though? Yeah, but we're kids. We don't know anything. Fair enough. Jacksonville, Florida, as you know, is a place that's racially segregated. You know, blacks and whites, blacks don't get fair treatment. They don't even get a similar education. They... They're actually this school, Stanton, whose principal, James Weldon Johnson. James Weldon Johnson? Do you know where we could find him? Oh, yeah. It's, it's down on W 13th Street over there, down to your right. All right, thank you. Oh, one more question, officer. Do you know what year it is? 1906, of course. What are we waiting for? Let's go meet him. All right. All right. Have a good day, officer. I feel like this school deserves two more years of education. After all, we only get three. And we deserve just as much education as white people do. Let's add a ninth and tenth grade to this school. Hello? President Roosevelt? Yes, Mr. President. Consul to Venezuela, I... I'd be honored. Okay. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Wow, he did a lot of stuff. Wasn't he good at poetry before, too? Yeah, I remember his mom encouraged him to study literature when he was young. When did he do that? Uh, let's look and look. Um, looks like him and his brother moved to New York City during the Great Migration. Alright. Yeah, he went for Broadway there. Alright, let's just go there then. Sounds good. Sounds good. Where are we now? More like wet Stop. on. Stop! It was funny the first time, okay? Right. But New York's so cool, right? Yeah, but we gotta stay focused. We need to find the Broadway Theater so we can find James Walton Johnson. But look at all the fashion. All the fur coats, the dresses, and jewelry look so extravagant. The men's clothes look ridiculous. Why are their suits so baggy? Hey! It's 1920s fashion. Respect it. Okay, whatever. Let's just get the Broadway then. Every voice and sing. It's his most famous piece of work yet. He wrote it in 1901 and eventually it became known as the Negro National Anthem. It was really cool. You know, I think we should go to 1917. That's when he started working for the NAACP. That was a little messy. A little is an understatement. It's quiet. It's a little too quiet. Where's James? I'm um, guessing Fifth Avenue. 1917 is when the silent parade happened. The silent parade? Yeah. Uh, 1917, he organized it. Over 10,000 people participated. They walked the streets of New York to protest racial violence. They did all of this without chanting, singing, anything. It was... Silent? Inspiring. I was gonna say inspiring. Whatever, let's just go find him. Looks like we're here. This is definitely the march. You see him? Um, yeah, right there. That's it. How are we gonna find, how are we gonna get to him though? He's so busy and this march is so big. Let me handle this. Okay. Excuse me, sir, Mr. Johnson? Yeah? Um, some guy from NAACP wants to talk to you regarding your role as secretary. Uh, I'm clearly busy. Is there any chance I could wait? I wish I could, but I can't. We have to go now. Are you sure? Positive.
Sorry about the inconvenience. All right, take me to him. Uh, is this him? Hi! It, you're, you're him. Uh, hi. Ma'am, I understand I have people that follow me. You didn't have to lie to me to follow me. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again, I promise. But we're doing a project on a poet from the Harlem Renna... Uh, I mean, a poet that inspires us. Yeah, um, we were actually wondering if you could spend just a little bit of your time talking about your influence and inspiration. Well, uh, sure. You see, when I was young, my mother encouraged me to study literature and the like. I did that, and one day I tried my hand at poetry. I usually wrote about my faith and God, until I became busy with my work as a teacher, and even more so when I became a consul in Venezuela. However, once I returned and started working for the NAACP, I realized how bad things have gotten. I used the violence against my people and my faith as inspiration, and that's what really got me back into it. I wrote Lift Every Voice and Sing to show the world that we are strong people that can't be broken. Well. As much as it was fun talking to you guys, I really need to get back. What a guy, Hi. right? Hey, watch out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, he's quite a guy, but I think you have more than enough information for your project. Should we go back? Yeah. No, uh, actually, just a sec. Mm -hmm. What does the book say happens next? He dies in a car accident in 1938. Hey, maybe we can save him. No, that would mess with the timeline. You have to go back. All right. The Harlem Renaissance was a movement of black people through the arts that simultaneously challenged racism and uplifted the race. People like James Weldon Johnson helped give the African American community confidence and pride in themselves. So, what do you think of my paper? I think it's A-worthy! Yes!